Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk about the changes Epic just made to matchmaking, and why I believe it will really help Fortnite in the long run. There's been a lot of misinformation going around, and I know some people are concerned, some people are happy, and a good amount of you guys don't even know what to think. The only thing people seem to focus on is that there are bots coming to the Battle Royale, which I'll talk more about later. Wherever you currently are on the topic is fine, but please just come into the discussion with an open mind, as I think I can persuade you all to see the changes as positive. So just yesterday, at the time I'm making this video, Epic released a blog post with what they call improvements to the matchmaking system that should roll out in patch 10.40. In usual epic fashion, this was completely out of the blue, with no warning or testing or anything of that sort. The post reads as follows. Hey everyone, since Battle Royale launched, the matchmaking strategy for our core modes has remained mostly unchanged. Over the past two years, however, the range of player skill has grown considerably. In Arena, we use hype-based matchmaking to ensure players are matched evenly across platforms. In the version 10.40 update, we're introducing improved matchmaking logic to Battle Royale core modes to create fairer matches. What does this mean? You will be more likely to match with players of similar skill, and as you get better, so should your opponents. We will slowly roll this out to all regions across Battle Royale core modes as we test and monitor how it performs. We're excited to get this out for everyone to play and we'll continue to update the system. We'll update you when it's fully live across all regions to get your feedback as you try it out. The next section is called bots and it says, in the next season, we are adding bots to Fortnite. They will behave similarly to normal players and will help provide a better path for players to grow in skill. Bots will work in conjunction with the new matchmaking system and as your skill improves, you'll face fewer bots. Bots will not be present in competitive playlists. This is another system that we will continue to update and iterate. So that's kind of a lot to take in. I'll break it down and then we'll dive into the pros, cons, and potential concerns. The first paragraph is just highlighting the fact that currently, matchmaking for public games is random. You could be put into a match against Sen Buga, literally the best player in the world, if you guys happen to queue up at a similar time on the same server. That may sound pretty cool, but imagine you just started playing Fortnite a couple of days ago. The fact that you could be put up against a pro player in the supposed casual mode is deeply disturbing. The fact that Epic started the post by clarifying this tells us this is the big problem they're trying to fix. And the second paragraph confirms this. Epic says they're adding skill-based matchmaking, or SBMM. This will put you up against players of your skill level now, instead of just randomly being thrown into a match with players of all skill levels. This is a thing in Overwatch, League of Legends, and most major games, once the general player base gets too good. The idea is that since good players will only face against other decent players, they won't be able to stomp noobs, and noobs can learn how to play the game without getting destroyed. The last section to me is the most interesting one, because they're adding actual robots or bots to Fortnite. These will look, and I guess play, like a normal bad player would. Except for the fact it's not controlled by a human, it's literally an AI robot that's programmed to act like one. Epic even teased one of their bots that they programmed to do 90s. Seriously, what you're watching is an in-game bot doing 90s. Now, none of these bots will be present in arena or tournaments and will pretty much only be in extremely new players games. As these new players learn the basics of building, editing, and aiming, they'll face less bots until they're up against all real players. Personally, I'm all for these changes, and I think Epic should have done this way earlier. Some of you guys may remember that Epic actually proposed this idea back in February of 2018. They quietly mentioned it in a blog post, and within minutes, the entire community was up in flames about it and shot the idea down. At that time, I was against it too, but this time, it's different. Fortnite's current skill gap is so insanely big that any new player has absolutely no way to learn while playing the core battle royale game mode. A lot of us take for granted the fact that we all sucked back in season 2 and 3. This is what made learning and improving easier than it is today. You never had to worry about running into sweats every game because sweats didn't exist yet. After a new player gets stomped, they'll then log off and never get back on. 
They'll quit and say it was way too hard and would take way too long to get good, which is probably true. With less new players continuing to play, player retention goes down, and Epic's potential profits from V-Bucks goes down as well. The fact is, these players are not sticking around to buy skins. Epic's first solution to get new players to keep playing was to add things like Playgrounds, Creative, Team Rumble, and other limited time modes to help them out. Maybe if they went and grinded out those game modes, they'd be better prepared for the core ones. Evidently, it did work to some extent, but they weren't good enough. The next thing Epic did was making the core game mode easier for new players. Instead of making it easier for them to learn how to play it, they made it easier for them to get kills and to win matches. Epic added the mech, junk rifts, the combat shotgun, turbo building delay, unvaulting the drum gun, the TAC SMG. I could honestly go on forever, but you get my point. That solution was by far the worst they could possibly come up with, because not only did it hurt the average player in the process, but it didn't help new players get better. Little Timmy 69 never learned how to build or to fight while he was in a mech. Yes, he probably did get his first win in one, but in the long run, adding that crap hurt him more than helped him. Then, just this week, Epic somehow came to their senses and realized the only way to keep Little Timmy playing is to slowly help him learn the game. New players need a safe environment to learn Fortnite in, and that's exactly what these bots and the skill-based matchmaking will do. So that's the main reason I support these changes. I know there's a lot of you guys who don't for a couple of reasons of your own. One concern that I've been hearing a lot is that now public matches will be like scrims and we'll all be forced to try hard every game when it should be just casual and fun. What people who say this are failing to accept is that currently games are not casual. In theory, they should be, but the truth is that they're not. Solos are plagued by sweats and good players stomping everyone around them. I'm a prime example of this, and you can see it when I get background gameplay for videos. You know who else sees it? Epic. They have the data and they can see that new players are leaving because the so-called casual game modes are straight up too sweaty. On top of this, my good friend Resprit pointed out the average player in Fortnite has around a 0.7 KD ratio. This puts anyone above a 1.75 KD in the top 90th percentile of players. And because there's no way Epic would forcefully cut out 90% of the players below you from getting in your games, the bar for these higher end lobbies is not that high. What I'm trying to say is you will not be forced to face gods with 10 KD ratios. Your games will also not play out like scrims. Most players will not notice a difference in the skill level of their games, or if anything, it'll be easier for them. This also addresses another concern of queue times and having to wait to play a game. Epic will most likely use a soft MMR system that will match you with other players based on your previous matches, overall playtime, and win-loss streaks. Because it's soft and not hard MMR, you can still be put into games with players below your skill level when queue times go past a certain point. Because of this, I do not expect you to have to wait more than a minute or two longer than what you do now. Again, the stats needed to be a quote unquote good player are not that high. This paired with the soft MMR system means it will not be difficult to fill up lobbies even if you're a good player. The other big issue surrounding SBMM is smurfing. Smurfing is the term used for when a good player hops onto a new account and destroys new players. This happens in Arena and basically every game I mentioned that has skill based matchmaking in place. The new public matches will not be any different and there will definitely be a lot of smurfs. Other than the fact that smurfing is just weird, there are two reasons why smurfing will not be as big of an issue as you may think. First is that if the system is good or even semi-competent, these smurfs will get maybe one or two games against new players before they're placed against better players. If they're not, then the SBMM isn't working and you can all shut up about it being harder. So it's a win-win either way. The other reason is that there will be at most 15 to 20 smurfs in these lower end games. Now compare that to the number of half decent players who would body a new player without any hesitation. I'd say about 75% or more of players in an average pub lobby could completely dump on a bot. That's 70 to 75 players 
versus the 15 to 20 that will come from smurfing. This is a huge difference and a huge win for Epic Games. They know it's impossible to completely protect noobs, but if they can protect them from 50 or more less sweats, then they did a pretty darn good job. Overall, I think a lot of it depends on how Epic implements it. If they make it really stringent and a really strict system, which would result in a ton of backlash, then yeah, it would not be fun. But you gotta stop looking at the small negatives and believing all the crap you hear. There will not be bots lasering you from across the map. 95% of you watching this video will never run into a programmed bot unless you smurf or you happen to run into my cousin in pubs. You will also not have 30 person endgames like in pro scrims. Arena doesn't even have good endgames, so why would pubs be any more difficult or sweatier? Lastly, this will not ruin the game. If anything, I personally think this will save it. The more new players coming in and staying, the more money Epic makes, and the longer the game can stay alive. Plus, we can only hope this means Epic will stop adding stupid stuff like mechs to help bad players out. Who knows, they might even take competitive Fortnite seriously for once. All in all, I really have trust in Epic here, and I think this will be great for the longevity of the game. If you agree or disagree, but enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Let me know your opinion down below, as I'm always reading comments and responding to people. Finally, shout out to everyone using code Jarian. I truly appreciate all your support recently and I love each and every one of you guys, even if you don't love me back. Otherwise, that's it from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.